Everything we go through in life is for a reason. So they say. I feel like it's true though. You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all are looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. Um, my notebook journals are still on on sale make sure you get your copies okay they're right here in front of you guys you can order a masculine or a feminine copy you pick which one all right in the journals i do disclose personal things about my own life and the things that i created so please 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 let me know how y'all feel about it okay and uh yeah let's get into y'all reading all right all of that will be in the description box below you can go straight directly to the website and order your journal today or you can cash at me and skip all of that stuff. But if you do just cash at me and in the four line, um, in the four line, just uh, put your address, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's get into your reading. Retrograde is over. We got forward movements. I know some of you guys had challenging things that you had to face. But it was necessary, just like it's necessary for you guys to order my notebook journal, which is readily available if you cash at me right now, <laughs> okay? And put your address in the four line, all right? Also, this video is sponsored to you by Rose Forever New York. So check them out, okay? All right, confidence. Okay, so your confidence is up, okay? Or somebody else's confidence is up. Okay, but yeah, confidence is up right now. Um, that's what's up, all right? So the universe is gonna boost your confidence in some kind of way, all right? And somebody could just be coming to you saying, hey man, I see what you got going and I'm proud of you. You know, sometimes people just need to hear that they are being seen here, okay? But something does boost your confidence tremendously, Scorpio. Okay, okay, what you don't see coming because they want a commitment, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> okay, so Scorpio, um, your confidence is boosted. What you don't see coming is somebody wants to be the yin to your yang, the peanut butter to your jelly, okay? We got the white dove and the black dove. Now, I do want to talk about something in the mo the show, The Witches, uh, what is it, the, the Mayfair Witches. Now, she was a regular witch, you know, she was a herbal witch in the beginning, just a witch that knows how to use herbs to heal people and she was healing the village people okay mayfair witches on netflix but then when you go and you fuck with her mama you fucking try to steal her little sister you know it's a real thin line between love and hate you know what i'm saying so that is all that i'm saying everybody is not a witch everybody's not a warlock but when you do these fucked up things to these people like they was put, trying to put her in a cage light her on fire so she she knows that magic is real because she used it in the lighter energy and she calls on that energy but she also knows that there's another side that's dark. And if you pushed her to it because you're trying to rape her sister and do all this fuck shit, she is going to conjure up that demon and light your motherfucking ass on fire and turn into something negative, okay? There's nothing, there's no polarity, you know what I'm saying? Everything is the same, but you, you, you know what I'm saying? The thing is that when people come to you with low vibration, the best way to not meet it with karma is just disengage. Some of y'all like, oh, I'm petty. Well, that's why you stay in a low environment because you got to react to people who have mental health problems. I will never react to somebody who has a mental health problem. I got a person who got a mental health problem right now stalking the dog shit out of me. I don't respond to her. I don't respond to her. Like, you know what I mean? And, it, and I'm not going to have any karma based off of it because she's not stable. You don't get cool points for doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to really understand, like, hold your confidence and know where that is, okay? Dating someone who is hot and cold just makes you feel bad about yourself. So whoever this is that wants a commitment with you, this is somebody who you're very hot and cold with. Every five minutes, y'all are on and off. This also could be somebody who's using ice packs for stuff. Maybe they hurt different parts of their bodies or something like that, and they got to use an ice pack. Maybe they went too hard on something. Okay, but yeah, whoever this is that's trying to get a commitment out of you, this is somebody who is very hot and cold with you. All right, let's see. Why do they want this commitment with Scorpio? That's what you don't see coming. All right, why do they want this commitment with Scorpio? Why does this person have this confidence? Why do they want this commitment with Scorpio? Okay. 
because they tried to put you in an open relationship. Y'all can look at it because it was like that, but I had flipped it around. Okay, they want this relationship. They want a relationship with you because they, they don't want to non be non-committal. They want to be committal to you. They don't want you to be casually talking to fucking nobody. They don't want you openly talking to nobody. So this is why they want to be in a relationship with you. Okay, because they don't want nobody else talking to your ass. And they feel like they have enough confidence to come to you and tell you that. And this is somebody who y'all been hot and cold with for some time. What else is this person coming towards Scorpio to do? What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio? What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio? What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio? Damn. This person want to make money with you or they fucking with you because you got money. <laughs> okay. So this person's intention is to build wealth, luck, and finances. This person just, they like money, you know, and, and they they want to build something with you or they want money with you or they want to do something financial with you. Whoever this is, they looking at you as wealth, stability, and finances. Damn. Is this a good person for, okay, is this a good person for Scorpio to move towards? Yeah, you will have long term with this person, okay? Wow, okay, so this is somebody that you're going to have long term with. This won't be a short ending. They do want to commit to you. They look at you as somebody who's financially stable. Uh, they did, they are someone kinky. This person could have a high sex drive or want to have sex a lot. And they could like to do a lot of kinky shit in the bedroom, okay? Or they like that you do that. I don't fucking know, okay? Yeah, this is somebody who has already communicated with you and they don't want to be single anymore. They want to be a little bit more heavy with their communication. They want to be a little bit more heavy with their texts and their calls and keeping up with you as well. What you don't see coming is this person knows that uh, they've had multiple lifetimes with you. Deja vu, past love and knowing. Whew, this is, this is a lot. All right, y'all, this 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 person want to be with you. They want a long-term relationship with you, and they feel like they could be a power couple with you. This will boost your confidence in some kind of way, and this commitment will stand the test of time. Y'all will really love each other, and maybe, like, y'all have, like, vow renewals. Hold on, let me see how many times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's going to be seven times in your marriage where things could be rocky, but y'all are going to renew every time, and it's going to make y'all bond stronger and stronger. Okay, that's crazy. Bye, y'all. Walking to the moon, trying to get to you.